right, guys, welcome back to Second Day Live. Um, I know you're probably waiting for Stephen to do salsa. Clearly, I'm not Stephen. Again, my name is Katrina Ladd, I'm the Health and Wellness Director here at the Metro West YMCA. Fortunately, Stephen is homesick today. Um, he is doing fine, um, just doesn't want to come on and um, make any room vulnerable, so we're going to leave him home today. Instead, we're going to do strength with me again today, so um, thanks again for joining. Um, I have three sets. Um, it's just a standard strength workout. We're going to do lower body, upper body, and core. We're going to do each of it for about 30 seconds each, um, and we'll go from there. Um, all you'll need today is, again, we'll have a chair as an option, um, and then also either a set of soup cans, a pair of shoes, or if you have dumbbells at home, a light set or a set of dumbbells. Um, so I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to kind of scrounge around your house and get anything that you need um, in that aspect. Um, and then we'll get started. Again, what I will reiterate is do what you can in this workout this morning. So if you need to tailor back a little bit, you can. If you want to go harder, you can. Um, just do you and work within your abilities and your limits. Um, hopefully we'll get a really great workout in this morning and then we can go on about our day and um, move on. So um, grabbing that light set of stuff, whether again, shoes, soup cans, um, water bottles. Yeah, um, things you see, water bottles that have water in are a really great option as well. Um, so those are some really great tools. So let's get started and warm it up. All right. Stepping back again, we're going to start with a nice light drop or march. So if low impact option, we're just going to pick up our feet. Higher impact option, just a nice light jog here. Come forward just a hair. There you go. Shoulder rolls, warming up that upper body. Stretching out that back. Other direction. Make sure you breathe. How did everyone feel from yesterday's workout? Anyone get a chance to try that Tabata? A little bit higher intensity. Saw so that you guys were working hard. That's great. All right, big inhale and exhale. Five more. Big inhale. Again, you can pick your knees up a little bit more if you like. Big inhale and exhale. And relax. All right, we're going to start with some jacks. So low jacks here. Nice wide step. Arms coming up. High jacks right here. We're going to hang here for couple of seconds. Again, if you're still not feeling warmed up, just stick here for a little bit. Maybe jumping's not your thing. Totally fine. You can be here or here. Do five, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. Come off to the side. We're going to take two steps that way and rotate. So one, two, rotate. Two steps, rotate. Rotate. Good. Warming up that spine. It can be nice and controlled or a little bit quicker. Feeling those arms. Good. Warming up that spine. Maybe add a little bit of reach. Now you can reach behind you a little bit. Good. Last one here. All right. So now we're going to wide steps. Slight knee in your bed. Slight bend in your knees. You're going to reach down. Touch your left foot. Reach over. Touch your right. Back. Left. And right. And good. Think about sinking down in your knees. Hips are back. Good. Maybe you can't quite get to your toes. Touching your knees, totally fine. Side to side. Three. Good. Two. And one. Stop. All right, wide stance. Let's do a couple squats. We're going to do some variations along the way. So just take your hips back. Stand tall. Hips come forward. Chest up. Good. Pull your belly button into your spine. All right, now we're going to add a little bit up. 
to squat and get up onto your toes. So squat up onto your toes. Get back on those heels. And up. Back. Good. Try hard to keep your chest up. Taking that butt down. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. All right. Grab your little bit of weight. So whether they're your water bottle, shoes, dumbbells that you have at home, anything like that. We're going to warm up our hamstrings and our hip hinge, okay? So feet are about hip width apart. Shoulders are back and down. Knees are slightly bent. I want you to take your little bit of weight. Take your hips back. Keep your back nice and flat. And just take those dumbbells or water bottles right along your legs until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. And then stand back up. You could be down to your knees. You could be middle of your shins. Or you could be down to your ankles and stand back up. Whatever distance you can get, that's great. Again, we're just using this as a way to warm up our hips and our hamstrings. I'll go from the side, back's nice and flat, back, stand. Breathe. And we're just warming up. This is just to kind of isolate those hamstrings. Do three more. Up three. Good. Two. And one. Nice job. All right, next we got some reverse lunges. So you're going to take a big step back with your right foot, big step back, take those hips down as low as you can, and stand up. Separate, hips straight down, and stand. All right, we're going to add a rotation. So hips down, rotate into that leg. Good, big step back, hips straight down, rotate into that front leg. Oops, work on balance a little bit. Good. The bigger space that you allow your feet to be apart, the easier it will be for you to get down into that lunge. Good. Last one here. This time we're going to reach up with your hands. So lunge back, reach up tall, stretching out that back. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Big reach. Good. Let's do one more on each side. Last one. Good. And relax. All right. Inchworms. These are always people's favorite. If you joined yesterday and never done them before, I'm sure you loved it. So here's what we're going to do. Again, if you can't quite get to the floor, you're going to use the chair. You're going to start here. Walk your hands out into a chair. Plank position. Walk your hands back. Touch your knees. And back up. Okay? Or if you're on the floor, hinge at those hips. Walk your hands out into a plank position. Add a push up if you'd like. Push up is optional. And then walk those hands back in towards your toes and stand right back up. If you are choosing to do the push up, I really want you guys to focus on trying to get your chest to the floor. That really works your range of motion to incorporate all of the muscle heads in your pecs and not just part of them. Okay? So really try hard to get all the way to the floor. Or you can just play. Walk those hands back and all the way up. Good. Let's do two more. Walk those hands out. Push up if you want. Walk those hands back. Don't forget to breathe. Last one. All right. Now we're going to add a leg out to stretch. So you're going to walk your hands out into the plank. Push up both the legs. Now I want you to bring your left foot out by your left hand, and you can sink into that hip stretch right here. So you should feel a nice deep stretch here. You can choose to then take your left hand, rotate towards the sky, breathe. Good. Take that hand down and that foot back, and then walk those hands back to your toes and stand all the way up. Repeat on the right side. If you are up on the chair, you're hinging at your hips. You're walking your hands out to that plank. You're driving that right foot out by that right hand. Take foot back. Walk those hands back and stand up. And repeat on the right side. Walk those hands out. Using that chair. Grab the knee up. Stretch. And walk those hands back. And all the way up. Let's do one more on each side. 
Feel free to take in at your own pace, guys. If you're still on the other side, you sunk into that stretch. It felt really good. You can stay there and join when you're ready. I just want to even myself out here. I stand all the way up. Oh, good, that felt great. All right, next one. A little bit of standing and balance. So balance on your right leg. Grab your left knee. I want you to sit up nice and tall with that left knee. Then pull your belly button into your spine. Your leg's going to go back. Your chest is going to come down. And those arms can go straight. And then feet together. Other side. Stand up nice and tall. Hinge at your hips. Chest down. Leg back. Good. Nice and easy. Again, because if balance is not your forte, you can do this entirely next to the wall. Using that to help balance to engage that move. Let's do one more on each side. Good. Breathe. After this, we're going to get started into our strength set. Okay. And rest. Awesome. All right, grab a drink of water. Shake any last thing out that you might need. Today we're going to start the first set. We're going to do a squat variation. We're going to do push-ups. And then we're going to do a standing oblique and balance exercise, which is going to be kind of fun. So we'll go from there. All right, so for our squat, feet are about hip to shoulder width apart, up nice and tall. What I want you to do is hips go back. You're going to squat. But then you're going to stand and lift one leg. And then back plant into that squat, lift that leg. Okay, so here we are for 30 seconds. You can take it at whatever pace you want, but I want you to be able to stand here and balance at least for a couple seconds before you move on. Breathe. You can pick up that pace if you're feeling good. That'll bring that heart rate up a little bit more, which is totally fine. Or you can keep it nice and slow, increase time under tension, which helps really build that leg strength. Last one. Good. And rest. All right, push-ups. So your push-ups can be on the wall. Hands are about hip width, shoulders apart, pressing down and up. They can be on a chair, down and up, or they can be on the floor. If you are on the floor, you can do them on your knees with one leg straight or with both feet out, okay? We're gonna stay here for 30 seconds. So do a variation or a level that's challenging for you for the entire 30 seconds, okay? Are we ready? You can always change the level throughout. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. Take that chest down. Try really hard to get your chest or your face to the chair, the wall, or the floor to work that entire range of motion of your upper body. Keep your core tight. Belly button to your spine. We're almost there. Three, two, and done. Nice job. Grab your weights, whatever you're using for them. Water bottle, dumbbells, shoe. You're gonna lift up one leg. You're gonna reach across opposite of that leg and then rotate around. If balance is a challenge, your toe is just going to barely be on the ground and we're rotating away from our body. The higher up that leg is in front, the greater challenge it is. The more you rotate your upper body, the more challenge it is. Breathe. Use your core and your obliques for movement and balance. About halfway here. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Other side, shake it out. Other side, lift that leg up. Or again, it can be just on the floor. You reach across, away from that leg, and then cross that knee. Good. Whoops. 
that balance. Keep it up, guys. Take your time. Slow movements. Belly buttons to your spine. About halfway. This side's a little weaker. Ah. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing better than I am. Let's finish up this last one. Good. And rest. All right. So those are our three exercises. We're back up at the top with our squats, okay? Again, add weight if you want. Just pick up the pen pole a little bit, and we're on. Oop, I forgot to lift my leg. Remember, we're lifting our leg. Squat, lift. Good. Here for 30 seconds. Keep your chest up. Nice, solid squat form. And one. Nice job. We got push ups next. Whatever variation works for you, I just want your chest to get all the way to the floor or chair. Here we go. 30 seconds. We're on. Belly buttons to your spine. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, about five more seconds. Almost there. Two and one. Nice job. Grab those weights again. Starting over here. Reaching over here. Whoops. Man, here we go. Reach and across. Good. Breathe. Good. Feeling that ankle maybe wobble a little bit? okay where you can feel your balance working almost there five more seconds good and rest other side knee up oh this is my sad side here we go i just have little one pound weights because I didn't want to do this workout without my shoes on. Um, hopefully you're not doing this workout without your shoes on. It is important to give your feet that extra support when working out at home. Oh, doing better. We're almost there, guys. Three, two, last one. Good, and rest. Nice job. Take a breath. Okay, sorry, I was just reading some comments. Um, must be frozen, Grace. Um, video just might be frozen, honey, but just stay with it and hopefully it'll catch up, okay? All right, we got one more set to go. We got our squats. Ready? Here we go. Squat down and lift. Breathe. Keep that belly button to your spine. Ten seconds to go. Compared to our 20 seconds yesterday, 30 seems a little long. That's okay. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Push-ups next. Okay, take it down to your chair or to your wall. We got 30 seconds. Here we go. Work that range of motion. I got one leg extended this time. One leg bent. Almost there. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Grab those weights. Lift that knee up. Core is tight. Reach across. And over. We'll take a water break after this, and we'll change up our exercises. Back and balance. Round two was really good. Okay, not so much. Last one. 
Oh, amazing. All right. Other side. Lift that knee up. Reach across. Try to make sure both hands reach across. And then we rotate. Work for that water break. And new exercises. That's what we got coming up. About Ten seconds. Pull that belly button into your spine. That should probably help with that balance. Last one, big reach and across. Good. Oh, man. Jeez. All right. Grab that water. Just want to check to make sure everyone's doing good. Awesome. All right. Next, we have side lunges. Okay. So a couple of options. One, you can separate your legs. And just alternate side to side without moving your feet. If you want a bigger challenge, push off, feet together. Push off, feet together. Okay? So, here's what we're going to do. If you're pushing off, you're going to alternate, push off. I'm going to separate from the screen for a second, push away, and come back. Okay? Ready? Set. Here we go. 30 seconds. I'm going to push off and push away. Push back. Feet together. You should feel this in your glutes. The one that goes out to the side. Each time you push up. Chest up. About five more seconds. And done. Nice job. Rest. Grab those little weights, dumbbells, water bottles, whatever you guys have. Next one we're going to do is a isometric lunge hold with a shoulder press. So what I want you to do is separate those feet. We're going to go down and hold. We'll do the other side in a second. So you go down, arms up, up and down with those arms. I want you to think about keeping your back nice and tight. Okay, don't just put those weights up. I want you to think about pressing them up and pulling them down. Belly buttons pull to your spine. Breathe. Driving through that front heel. That back toe is down. Almost there. Last one. Good. And rest. Shake out those legs. We got our other side. This time, lateral raise. So separate those feet. Take those hips down. Arms go out to the side. And down. Breathe. Good. Got it. Almost there. Fight through it. Legs are burning. Three, two, and done. Nice job. Shake out those legs. Next one. Standing oblique crunch. So again, balance work. Stand on one foot. You can use your chair for balance if you'd like. We're going to extend opposite. Then knee and elbow come together. Separate and together. Here we go. Or no chair. Three. Think about this oblique. Doing the work. Trying to keep you guys off the ground to the very end. If I can. Let's do two more. Good, and rest. Nice job. Other side. Again, you can use the wall or a chair for balance. Separate that arm and that foot. Drive it up. Up. This is a little bit easy. Next round, you can grab your weights. Put them in your hands. Just giving yourself a little bit more dynamic movement. Focus on that oblique. Belly buttons to your spine. Whoops. You see me fall a lot, guys. Two more. And last one. Good. And rest. Nice job. All right. Those are our three. We have our side lunge, our isometric hold with our upper body, and then those standing oblique crunches. Okay? So, side lunges again. 30 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Take it out. Again, if you don't want to push off, or this is a little bit too much for you, 
you can separate those legs and just sink down and up. Kind of similar to how we did our warm up. Breathe. Good. Five seconds to go. We're almost there. Good. And rest. Nice job. Grab your weights. Shoulder press to start. Separate those feet. Take those hips down. Press it up. Here we go. Good, guys. Belly button to your spine. Think about something happy, which could not be your back leg. Got it. Almost there. Five seconds. You can do it. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Take those legs out. Separate those feet. Other side. Laterals, arm raises. Here we go. Take those hips down and up. Good. Focus on your breath here. That can help too. Almost there. Five seconds. You can do it. Dig deep. Three, two, and done. Nice job. Woo. Shake those legs out. Quad work. All right, like I said last time, if you want to make this side crunch a little bit harder, you can put a weight in one hand. We extend it out and together. Out. Good. Breathe. Again, focus on that oblique. Good job. Can't see you guys, but imagine you're crushing it. You're doing great. One more. Good. And rest. Other side. Let's transition right into it. Take it out. And dry. Good. Breathe. Good. Almost there. Two to go. That's one right here. And two. Good. Nice job. All right, we have one more round, then we get a break, then we get one more set of all new exercises. So lateral lunges first. Sorry, side lunges first. Take it out. Here we go. Breathe. Chest is up. Butt is down. Bend in the knees. Nice job. Grab those weights. Lunges. This is definitely the hardest part. Separate those feet. We got shoulder press to start. Ready? Set. Take it down. Here we go. You got it. If you have super light weights, just try and get as many reps in as you can. Think about the tension in your back. And those shoulder blades. Core is tight. Three, two, done. Nice job. Other side. Separate those feet. Ready, set, here we go. Lift it up. Lateral raises with this lunge hold. This is a little easy. You can also just hold your arms out to the side. That'll be good work as well. Breathe. We're almost there. Five seconds. Think about that water break. Three, two, and done. Nice job. Woo! Shake it out. Good job. Good work, guys. Two sets down. I got one more set of exercises for you. And this last set is 
dog can be on the floor. Oh. And you're going to want your dumbbells or your weights down on the floor. We're going to start with some bridges. We can do it one of two ways. We're going to probably just stick with regular bridges. Later on in our next exercise, you can keep doing bridge work if you need some more glue work. Okay? So, go ahead and lay down. Feet are about hip width apart. Belly button pulls to your spine, drives through your heels, lifting those hips up and down. Up and down. Here we go. 30 seconds. You got it. Holding and squeezing those glutes at the top. Hopefully you feel a little stretch in those quads after those isometric lunges. Great. Good, breathe. We got about five more seconds. Feeling that glute burn. Three, two, and done. Good job. All right, grab those weights. So if you want more glute work, you can just lift and hold either here or even extending one leg. Either option works. While we're doing that, we're also going to do chest press. Down and up. Okay? Here we go. 30 seconds. Think about your chest working. If you have lighter weight, then just go fast with those arms. And keep those hips up, squeezing those glutes. You can have both legs down or one. One is definitely way harder. You got it. Drive right through those heels. Three, two, and one rest. Good. Go ahead and pull those knees into your chest for a quick break. Around. Good. We're going to do chest flies, okay? So again, you can do the same thing with your hips to keep lower body working. You can lift those hips up. Elbows are bent. We're going to take those arms out and let your upper arm go on the ground. And then think about bear hugging back up. Take it out and back up. Good. Your hips can also be totally on the ground if your glutes have had enough work. Good. Breathe. Belly bones pull to your spine. Think about your chest doing the work. That's it. A couple more. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Good. Come on up to a seated position. Nice and easy. Okay, we're going to do a boat hold. So a couple of different options you can do here. So heels, start with heels on the ground. Sit up nice and tall with your chest. Pull your belly button into your spine. And go back just enough until you feel your core engage. From there, if you're like, nope, that's good enough. Stay here. If you want more of a challenge, you can lift up one leg or both legs. Okay, whichever works. Here we go. We're on for 30 seconds. Biggest thing here, guys, make sure your chest is up tall and you're pulling your belly button towards your spine. Look down at your abs. Do you see that your abs are going away from your spine or are they pulled in tight and pulled towards your spine? Okay? You want them to be pulled in tight towards your spine. Breathe. We're almost there. We're about three seconds. Two, one, and rest. Nice job. We're back to the top with some bridges. Right. Go ahead and lay down. Ready, set, take those hips up and down. Good. Squeezing and contracting those glutes at the top right here. You might be doing a lot more sitting if you have home. If you're working from home, probably don't have stairs to go up and down. So engaging that glute and activating those glute muscles is super important. I want them to go asleep on us. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Grab those weights. We're going to do our chest press right into our chest flies. Again, you can keep your hips up if you'd like to engage those glutes. Ready, set, go. I'm going to choose to keep my hips up and just hold. Good. Breathe. Belly buns pulled to your spine. You're driving through your heels. Good. 
We're over halfway. Feel the burn. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, right into the flies. Take those arms out. Again, your hips can stay up if you're feeling it and you're doing good. Or you can have your butt on the ground. Pull that belly button into your spine. Almost think of it as core work at the same time. Breathe. Think about your pecs doing the work. And done. Nice job. All right, we got a remote. Sit up nice and tall. Again, you have three different ways. Lean back, feel those abs pull in. Heel down, one up, or both up. Here we go. We're on for 30 seconds. Another level two is if you straighten your legs. This way it's definitely much harder than if our knees are bent. But again, your abs must be pulled in. Think about them coming in to hug you. If they're going out, you need to back off just a little bit. We're almost there. We've got about eight seconds to go. Hang with me. Stay tall. Three, two, and done. Nice job. One more round, and then we're all done. We'll stretch. All right. Here we go. Bridges first. Ready, set, and go. Lots of glute work here. <laughs> Excuse me. Stay focused. Stay with me. We're almost done. Down to 10 seconds. Three. Up for two. And one. Nice job. Grab those dumbbells. Chest press first. Hips up are optional. Here we go. can be doing one leg as well. Even if you don't quite get through the whole 30 seconds, you can switch at any time. Keep it rolling. We're just over halfway. Down to three, two, and done. Nice job. Chest flies. Here we go. We're going to go right into it. Breathe. Think about using your pecs. Uh, keep that core tight. Pull that belly button into your spine, into the floor. Nice stable lower back. Three, two, and done. Nice job. Sitting all the way up. We've got one last exercise. 30 seconds. Sit up nice and tall. Lean back. Core is tight. Feet up. One, two, or go. Here we go. 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds of today's workout. Breathe. Stay strong, guys. We're almost there. Down to eight seconds. Keep that body up nice and tall. Three, two, and done. Whew. Nice job. Give yourself a round of applause. The hard work is done. Let's grab a quick drink of water. And then we'll stretch. And since we're already on the floor, we'll stay here. All right. Go ahead and take one leg out to the side. Sitting up nice and tall with your chest. You're going to go ahead and rotate your chest so it's in line with your foot. And then hinge at your hips, reaching towards your toes. Nice job today. Again, don't forget to add this strength workout into your Stay Healthy Y600. Um, that is an incentive program that all of the Ys are doing, or most of the Ys are doing. Um, in Massachusetts as a whole, we're a kind of a team, and we're trying to compete against other states who are doing the same 
challenge. So it's not just our Y of Metro West, but it's all the Ys in Massachusetts competing against the Ys in California and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool national challenge that we can all be a part of. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Flex that toe back towards you. Rotate your shoulders so they're in line with your foot. Hinge at your hips. Again, that link to register for that Stay Strong Y600 is on a previous post. Um, it's also on our website under um, the COVID-19 resources. If you go to the MetroWestYMCA.org website, about us in our banner, scroll down to COVID-19 resources, and you can find a couple of different resources there. Um, not only this challenge, but also other YouTube videos and other out videos that you guys can grab um, if you're not able to grab, catch on to one of these live videos. Good. All right, let's do glute stretch because that'll probably feel amazing. So take your left ankle, put it on your right knee, and then you're going to bring that right knee in and sit down into figure four. So this is what it looks like from the side. Again, supporting that chest up nice and tall. The closer your foot on the ground is towards your tush, the bigger stretch you're going to feel in your left leg. Good. If you want to, you can go ahead and kind of rotate those legs, just a little bit of twist. It's going to give you just slight different angles of your glute muscle head. Some spots going to be a little bit tighter than others. One of my favorite stretches, so it always feels really good. Good. And switch when you're ready. Right ankle on that left knee. Bringing that left leg in. Sorry, the right leg in. Chest is up nice and tall. Again, rotating those hips a little bit if you'd like. All right, let's come on up to a standing. We'll do quads and hamstrings and be good, okay? Grab onto the wall for balance if you'd like. Quad stretch or if you still have your chair, just like we did yesterday, you can prop that leg up if your hamstring gets cramped. We're just going to turn on the music. Good. Or you can just be grabbing that foot up nice and tall. Think about keeping your chest up, knee pointed down. anyone have to shovel this morning? Who would have thought that we were going to get that much snow last night? It was crazy. Take a big step back with that foot, drive that heel down, and I want you to think about stretching forward. So you should feel it in the leg that's back, that calf. Go to the other side and we'll be all done. Good. And switch sides. Again, you can use your chair to prop that leg up, sit up nice and tall. Taking that big step back, drive that back heel down to the ground, keeping your chest up forward. Hips come forward just a little bit. Sitting up nice and tall. Good. Nice deep breaths. One last one. Awesome job. Give yourself a round of applause. Again, thank you for joining me. We'll have another video tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.